This is insane. You have to try this. This is so good. What, did you honestly think that by clicking on this video, you would learn how to make a high protein Oreo ice cream that's ready in just a few minutes without having a Ninja Creamy waiting 24 hours with the freezer and all this? Do you actually think that would happen? Well, you were right. I'm gonna show you exactly how to make that with just a few simple ingredients, Oreos and some other stuff. And not only will this be delicious and get you jacked, when you make this recipe, you will literally become rich. Overnight, you'll wake up in the morning and there'll be hundreds of hundred dollar bills everywhere. Thousands of thousand dollar bills. So without further ado, let's get started. This recipe starts with a high speed blender and two cups of ice. I use one of these little miniature uh, shaker cups, but you can just do two thirds full of your normal 750 ml shaker cup. And we're gonna blast it first, just for like five to 10 seconds. And it's gonna turn it into basically shaved ice, kind of like a snow cone you would get at the fair. And that just helps this whole ice cream have a better texture. Okay, come take a look at this. This is basically what you want. Snow, right? Ice, shaved ice. For the rest of this recipe, we're gonna build it on the scale because macros. I start by adding some fat-free Fairlife milk. If they don't have this where you live, sell your house and move somewhere else. It's high in protein, it's low in calories. This stuff is fantastic. I'm gonna add 75 mils or 75 grams of this milk here. That's 69. <laughs> 75. I gotta stop making those jokes because my parents watch this YouTube channel. Next up, we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. And because we like it sweet, I'm gonna add five packets of Splenda sweetener. You can use Stevia or really any other sweetener you want, but I like Splenda, it tastes good. Then I just add a few cracks of salt. This really brings out the sweetness and the flavor of the ice cream. Trust me, it's worth it. Now for the magic ingredient. This is xanthan gum, half a teaspoon of this. You can buy this online on Amazon. You can buy it at a health food store. Most grocery stores have this nowadays. And this is an emulsifier. It's what turns this from just being a regular icy wet smoothie into like that ice creamy, really nice buttery mouthfeel of a Wendy's Frosty type thing. This is not actually Greek yogurt. This is just where I store my whey protein powder. And I'm gonna add half a scoop of just standard issue vanilla whey protein powder. It doesn't have to be any specific brand. It doesn't have to be special isolate or casein, just regular old cheap as it comes whey protein powder, half a scoop. Okay, now for everyone's favorite, the star ingredients, these sons of bitches right here. You're gonna take one and a half of these Oreos and what you do with them is very specific. So do not mess this up because this could be potentially life-threatening. I take the one full Oreo, put it in between two pieces of parchment paper, just like that. You do not wanna mess this up. You are absolutely putting your life on the line when you do this. So do this with caution. Highly technical. I'm just gonna scrape this cookie dust into the blender I'm gonna add one tablespoon of water and we're gonna blend it. Bro, that was so cool, it's like a science experiment. Again, highly technical, highly specialized tools. You cannot make this recipe if you don't have one of these offset spatulas. And if you don't have one of these also, I think you should probably just get your life together, stop watching YouTube videos and, and start making some real money. Unbelievable, that went so well. Those of you who are watching at home, do not skip this one tablespoon of water. It makes a big difference. Oh, and by the way, this takes a few minutes to blend. It kind of takes its time to aerate and emulsify. So we're gonna blend it for like one or two minutes. I'm gonna scrape down the sides and then we'll let it blend some more so it really gets that nice texture we're after. Oh man, it smells like Oreo. All right, it's been a few minutes and it's really grown a lot, it's thickened. So I like to use a big salad bowl because it grows quite a lot. It's gonna be thick, it's gonna be ice creamy, it smells exactly like an Oreo McFlurry. I'm gonna sprinkle it with that other half Oreo I crushed up. This looks amazing, I swear. This is like an Oreo McFlurry. Oh man. It's even better than the cinnamon toast crunch one that we made a little while ago. This is insane. You have to try this. This is so good. For the time spent, the cookies invested, and for the calories and the protein, this is impossible to beat. In fact, I'm never eating regular food again. I'm only gonna eat Oreo protein ice cream. And when someone asks me, what is your problem? I'll say, that's between me and my therapist. Jay, my girlfriend, the camera lady, is gonna try this. Thoughts, feelings, aspirations? Holy fuck. Holy fuck, she says. All right, well, you get a spoon, I get a spoon. Let's do this thing. It tastes like, have you ever had an Oreo ice cream sandwich? Yes. 
It is like an Oreo ice cream sandwich. Yeah. This was a good idea. Thanks, babe. You're so smart.